Back on Dragonair, we have a tier list for you because I know a lot of you are doing summons right now before Global Launch. Global Launch is going to happen on the 18th and 19th, but right now you can go to their webpage and do summons all the way up to Global, and then you can take one hero from all those summons and bring it with you into Global Launch. I did a video on this two days ago. I'll throw it up right now. You can look down below for the link and go to their webpage, log in with Gmail, log in with Facebook. You can log in with like four or five Gmail accounts, as many as you got, like I've been doing, and then summon every single day and then bring one hero. But a lot of people are like, hey, Stu, what's good? What legendary should I bring if I pull a legendary? What epic if I don't pull a legendary? I've got you covered. I've been doing this all day today, and I'll leave this in a spreadsheet down below. It has all the information about the game. We've got a simplified tier list is what I've been working on today. We've got a more in-depth tier list that I have been working on a little bit today, but not as much. But I will be going deep into this one every single day until Global Launch. This is going to tell you what legendary that you want to keep if you're lucky enough to pull one. And if you're not lucky to get a legendary by Global Launch, we've got some really good epics, even some rares and uncommons. You're not going to keep this from your summons to go into Global Launch, but at least you know what is really good in the game for when you start the game. Here are the SS ranked legendaries. These are the legendaries that really can help you get through content in this game. I always like legendaries that are support. It's those Siffies and Duchess from Raid Shadow Legends that can really get you through content. It's always those support heroes. Pure DPS is nice, but it's not like there aren't other heroes in the game that do DPS. What you want are the support heroes. And these aren't all support heroes, but these are a lot of support heroes, especially down here in the SS class. And then we've got two epic support heroes that are very strong. So if you're not lucky enough to get a legendary, get one of these epics. Or if you have one of these epics, bring one of these epics with you to global launch going down this list here though these are all very strong the reason why these four are really strong is because they have exclusive artifacts but to get these exclusive artifacts you actually have to summon two of these legendaries so when you start playing the game you have to be lucky enough to summon another one that doesn't mean they're not ss class on their own they actually are but with their exclusive artifact they become even stronger this is a very very sought after hero by a lot of people in the game. PvP, PvE, she's just massive. She'll just do this Ice Wind Dale kind of thing over the whole entire screen. She'll execute people that get down low. She does a lot of damage. Looks like a lot of fun. Will it help you get through a, a content in the game? It will, it really will. What I like to look for though, are the really good healing classes and the really good tanking classes because we want to get to legendary gear as quickly as possible. We want to go through all the dungeons so we can rank up our heroes. And then we want to get through the, the, the gear dungeons so we can get that legendary gear and then gear out all of our people and then do really well against all the bosses in the game. But getting just a DPS right away isn't really what I look for. I'm not all about the pew pew. They got to bring that damage and then they got to do something else, right? They got to throw down some debuffs, block some buffs on the enemy, do some heal block, do something else for me. Now, these two also have exclusive artifacts, the one at number six and number seven in the red. Now, I don't know if they're good. I haven't seen these. Now, the other ones I've actually played and I've seen them played, but I haven't seen these two really in action. They have exclusive artifacts, but if you pull a legendary, let's be honest, if you pull a legendary before global launch, summoning on that horn, you're probably going to want to keep that legendary. Legendaries are very hard to get. They get balanced all the time, so you're going to want to keep that legendary. These legendaries down here are all great and will help you progress in the game and are SS tier. Now, there is a legendary like this one, Oster, who is SS tier DPS, but I put him over in the S tier because we can get DPS. This epic right here is high DPS epic. So she can kind of do the damage he does. He's going to do more damage overall, yes, and he's better in some other teams. She's better in a wild team, but... It's just pure damage. There's nothing else he's bringing. And I, I do have him. I have him on my current account, actually, and I use him a lot. Great damage. But again, there's a lot of other heroes in the game that do damage. So I like to go toward the heroes that can do more for you. Let's look up a hero right here. Like this one, before the game starts, she gets to do her accuracy is higher than her resistance. Her resistance will come up to her accuracy. And then she does damage to everyone and gets a 50% chance to blind everyone on the board. That's just starting out. Then she'll do a shield to an ally along with give them resist. And then here, she does a song, does recovery over time, heal over time to all your allies. They don't have to be anywhere near her. She'll do defense up too. And then also she gets a chance to charm the enemy and then 
bring their attack gauge down by 50%. 75% chance to lower their attack gauge by 50%. That's their ultimate. You have an attack gauge for your ultimate here building up and then also for your, uh, there's, there, there's a cooldown for your battle skill. But for your ultimate, there's an attack gauge that builds up and you can lower that. You can bring it down. This brings it down by 50%. So this girl is pretty insane and she looks pretty damn awesome too. So there's a lot of good looking characters in this game. I love the aesthetics of them all. This one is really good too. She's over there in the SS for support. She'll come in here and then whenever she gets crowd controlled, She'll block it and then freeze them. Obviously, we can't freeze a boss, but we could. there's a lot of other things in this game besides bosses that we go through that we need to go through in story mode. There's also the Fey Wild, which is like the, the tower mode that we go through. There's a lot of other areas in the game that we need stuff like this. PvP, of course, is going to be amazing. And then here, she'll shield somebody along with defense up two. And then this is a nuke. This is a massive nuke. But not only does she do crazy damage, single target damage though, not AOE, she'll dispel all their buffs, reduce their ultimate gauge by 100%, and then 100% chance to freeze someone. So we can't freeze a boss, but we can still reduce their, their gauge, their energy gauge to do their ultimate, and we can put decreased attack two on them. That's decreased attack of 50%. So all in all, heroes like this to me are the best ones out there. <laughs> she looks badass. So the epic one I have here, if you look down at the bottom, you see I've got two epics here. Varesh does AoE damage, and then what he a portion of that damage he does heals all your allies. Heals everybody. Really strong to get through the game, because in this game, you can kind of heal and tank through content. As long as you can get enough healing going, you can slow play it. There's a timer. It will run out, and you will lose. But you can slow play most things if you have enough healing. And he does awesome damage along with healing. Furbath is a crazy, crazy tank. He will frontline tank and then heal everybody around him. So you put him up front, you put all your other guys near him, and he'll do this healing right here on someone along with removing a debuff. Then he'll do this healing nexus around him, healing everybody based off of his defense. And then of course, attack down. Attack down of two, 50% decrease attack. This guy will get you through content all the way from beginning to end game. That's why he is so strong. That's why he's on the list for SS heroes. That doesn't mean these two are better than some of these S class over here, but they will help you get through content in the game. Absolutely get you to end game, get you farming all that end game gear. And this guy, honestly, you kind of use him even at end game. He's really that strong. All these other ones are legendaries. If I didn't put if I didn't put anything next to their name. Like these are epics here. Obviously I put epic next to them. Horus you get as a three day login. He's a dwarf tank that is massive. He is S rank. He's so damn good. So you're going to want to play him. Hexandra here is a rare that you get for free as a healer. She's great. You're going to use her. She's more like an epic healer than a rare. So you're going to use her full time. This uncommon healer will get you through content. I've got videos with her getting you legendary gear just by using her and you actually have to use her to get that legendary gear she's so damn good here's a couple other rares i'm sure you're gonna get some epics before global launch guaranteed you're gonna get some epics i hope you get a legendary if you're looking at all these legendaries over here they're uh they're a rank they're not the best in the world but look we haven't been able to play and play test everything in the game plus they're introducing like 60 new heroes at global launch we haven't been able to test everything always in every situation there's always best in class like sometimes you'll have a hero that might not be ranked really high overall but is really good for one specific dungeon and one specific job so that could be some of these heroes so look through this list if you get a legendary i really hope you get one of these legendaries that'll just help you blow through content or one of these epics if you had to decide on the two i would go with fur bath over varesh 100% because he's going to get you through so much content in the game. And if you're not lucky enough to pull a legendary down here, I put some other epics that are really great. So if you did get a few epics, look here on this list for this lady here. She's like a lizard. Uh, actually, I can show you some of these. And then you've got her, Dane, and all down along with these two. And if you're unfamiliar with what they look like, you can go over here to this other DPS list that I'm working on and you can see the portrait, right? And you can do control F and then type in the name like Horus, and it'll take you directly to him. I'll let you see the ones I picked as far as epics go. Like this girl is really good. Anytime anybody on your team kills somebody, the whole entire team gets a heal over time for 10 seconds on them. 
That's very strong. She's really cool into PvP too because she'll jump back into enemy lines, but she's not just a PvP unit. She does attack down too. Very strong. 50% less damage done to you is amazing, especially against all those bosses. Any boss you fight, anything you fight in this game, there's a lot of hard battles and you need to be tanky and then you need to get some heals. Even though you're burning stuff down, you're trying to burn it down fast, it's easier just to be tanky, get some heals, get something like these heals over time going all the time. I'm talking multiple healers, multiple shielders. Just go back and look through videos. I've got like 20 videos on this game showing you how to get through dungeons and how to get legendary gear as free to play. So you can go check that out. Awesome characters. Dragonair Silent Gods is coming out September 18th or the 19th. I'm still unsure which one it's going to be, but I'll be streaming it. I just streamed it yesterday because they wanted me to get on there and show everybody some more things about the game. So come and join me. I've been playing this game for two months, about two months ago during the first, second beta. I played the first beta. A lot of heroes were different back then. So th some things have changed. Quite a lot of things have changed, but I was on a test server where I had access to all these heroes. So I've done other things. I've done a lot of, you know, damage for all of the gear you get in this game. Damage testing. And you can see what I used to do all the damage testing and you can get an idea of what the gear does. And I did a video on this. So you can go check out that video too. How much damage like all these heroes do. So I've got all their numbers that I tested on the test dummy because they have one in the game. Really easy to test things out in this game. So I've got all this in here if you want to check it out. Come over and check it out. And if you're doing some summons, let me know what you summoned down below. Let me know what hero you got so far in the game. That is the simple tier list. Let me know if this helped you out. Let me know what heroes you've summoned down below so far. I appreciate your time and I will see you guys all in a video soon.